Among the Republican presidential candidates led by Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, there is no one like Chris Christie. He was Trump before Trump. He was DeSantis before DeSantis. Fierce, vulgar, and politically incorrect, he was the GOP regular rock star before Bridgegate. He talked big and won big in swing states as well as blue states. Now he is barely behind Tim Scott, Nikki Haley, and Vivek Ramaswamy, and tied with two sitting governors who have yet to run for office, the former boss from New Jersey, a candidate for the White House in 2016, and a former close friend and friend of Trump. Immediately becomes his most credible opponent upon the announcement of his candidacy, he could do some damage, because he is almost Trump equal at showmanship and better than him at profanity, Peggy Noonan wrote in the Wall Street Journal last week. Could this be a suicide mission? I don't know, but these kamikazes killed a lot of tanks. What should people know about the bright, shiny, and attention-grabbing Christopher James Christie? It includes his many interviews, a series of in-depth profiles over the years, books written about him, and a long and rambling list of memorabilia from the books he wrote. 1. You cannot tell anybody who supports Christie that he is not going to be the Republican nominee as longtime Christie aide Matt Katz told Matt Katz in 2013 when he was trying to explain the situation in New Jersey people felt that way that is how. They felt about Bill Clinton in Arkansas in 1991 everyone felt that it will happen soon. 2. I have regrets about every part of my life, Mark Christie told Mark Lebovic earlier this year, and anybody who says they do not is lying. 3. The name of the PAC supporting his candidacy is Tell It Like It Is. 4. One of the most interesting politicians in America wrote Matt By, and one of his biographers called him the most interesting man in American politics. Two others said he demanding loyal, a fighter, funny, talkative, but never boring. 5. If I get into the race, he said this spring, I will make it interesting. 6. He was born September 6, 1962, brought home from the hospital to a fourth floor walk up in Newark. 7. He grew up in a 1,300-square-foot house with a fenced yard and an above-ground pool in suburban Livingston, New Jersey. His father, Wilbur James Bill Christie, a Wall Street accountant and Republican, was of mixed German-Irish and Scottish descent. His mother, Sandra Sandy Grasso, a Democrat from Sicily, was a receptionist at the school district office. He has two siblings, Todd two years younger and Dawn ten years younger. 8. He was especially close to his maternal grandmother nanny with whom he spent many weekends. She took him to the library. She took him to New York City. She let him watch two shows college football on Saturday, meet the press on Sunday. 9. Baseball was a sport, and he played catcher. A slow runner, but a good hitter, he was considered a team leader. He once wrote a letter to the editor to the weekly newspaper thanking his coaches. 10. At the age of 14, he heard Tom Keene, then a state legislator and later governor, speak at his high school. He told his mother that he wanted to become a politician. He took her straight to Keene's house and told her to knock on the door. Teacher, I heard you speak. He said, I think I want to get involved in politics. What should I do?